My home was at 60 Iron Street with my family, consisting of father, mother, and two sisters. We all went to our attic to get away from the high water. We looked out the windows and we could see these waves, one over the top of the other, moving the telegraph poles and anything that was within their reach. Our house was raised up off its foundation. And as you looked out, you saw the heavy waves, one on top of the other, piling up, moving your house round and round until it got it to the stone bridge. Then it became jammed with the other things. My father got mother and my two sisters out and came back to get me and found me pretty well tied up by my ankle being caught between some rubbish there, roof of the house. So I can hear him say, now I'll pull her leg off. She's got to come out. <laughs> that thing sort of stuck, st stung to me for a while. But some men carried me over the top of r roofs of houses and put me off at that cement mill that was over there on the side of the hill. A Hawes cement mill was known by at that time. And of course, we, there wasn't much place for anybody there. You almost had to stand up. And the bed, people that were hurt badly, of course, they laid on the floor or laid on the top of the desks that were, that were wall desks. We made a bed for some of these badly hurt people. <laughs>